This right here is my gratitude journal. Now, I don't write in it as often as I would love to, but on those days that I do, it gives me so much joy and clarity of mind. So today, while at it, I found myself thinking, when did everything become all about the outcome? When did we start doing things just to get something in return? And how long are we going to let our expectations control who we are and how we feel? After today's gratitude session with my journal, I think we need to let go more often. The more you let go, the more you gain in life. And by this, I don't mean you should stop caring. You know, caring about the people around you, your job, or anything else you do. I mean, you should stop expecting. Don't hold so tightly to the idea that everything you do must have a specific outcome, that it must give you something in return. Sure, people reciprocate, but they don't always do it as we expect. My point is, our expectations are holding us back. And that doesn't mean that today, if you stop expecting things, everything will magically come your way. No. It's more about detaching from the idea that every action must result in a reward. When you let go of expectations, then suddenly everything you receive starts to feel like a gift. We are never expecting gifts, and when we receive one, it comes with a lot of joy. The same happens when you detach from outcomes or expectations. By not being so focused on the outcome, we start to appreciate everything we do in a different way. We stop doing things just for the result and start enjoying the process itself. We allow things to be as they are, and we accept ourselves as we are. It's like we need to detach from our own ideas of ourselves. Think about it. You might meditate one morning and feel great, but the next day, you might not. Standing in front of the mirror and telling yourself you love yourself so much does not guarantee that you'll feel the same way the next time you're in front of the same mirror. And I know you've experienced this. It's not about setting conditions and restrictions on what we do. It's about how we react when things don't go as planned. In the 30 years I've been around, yes, in the 30 years I've been around, I've found that expecting nothing can be very liberating. It lets you give your all to whatever you do, regardless of the outcome. You become an embodiment of life and not an embodiment of results. Be present in everything you do and don't let the results dictate your next move. As we speak, at this moment, I'm getting very few views on my videos on this channel, but it doesn't bother me much. Instead, I find a way to be grateful to you and the few others who actually take their time to sit and watch my story. Think about it. When I get about 100 views, instead of looking at it as just a small number of views, I imagine myself seated in a room surrounded by a hundred amazing people eagerly waiting to listen to my story. Do you see how the perspective changes suddenly? So when you truly give something your energy without expecting anything in return, it becomes a genuine gift. This mindset is tough to practice in all areas of life, but start with something simple like art, poetry, working out, or doing videos like this. Do it just for the sake of doing it. Live life for the sake of living. Most of our desires aren't even our own. There are more expectations placed on us by, by society, you know. Get this degree, marry at this age, earn this much, and so on. At a basic level, our true passions are what we enjoy doing, regardless of the outcome. For instance, I love doing film. I love photography. I'm not the best at it. But it's not about the result. It's about how it makes me feel when I do it. When I produce videos, it's not about who watches or who subscribes to my channel. It's about the feeling it gives me. 
So once you detach from expectations completely, every single expression of your life brings you joy and reconnects you with yourself. You realize that just by existing, you have a lot of value. We all carry our struggles and stories, so don't take things personally. When someone reacts negatively to you, it's often more about them than you. And this realization in itself is enough to bring you a lot of peace. Detach from the idea that everything is about you. It allows you to exist in a state of non-reaction, which is quite blissful. So from this moment on, practice detachment in everything you do. Your time will come when it comes. For the Christians in here, the Bible says, when the time is right, I, the Lord, shall make it happen. So instead of setting strict timelines, just be present. Just be present. There is no future self to achieve. There is no past self to overcome. Everything we want and need is right here, right now. If you sat with me this far, thank you. I'll add you to my gratitude channel. And I've been thinking of doing videos about effective journaling and how you can start your own. So let me know in the comments below if this is something you'll be interested in, and then I'll do it. For now, continue being intentional and stop taking things too personal. At the end of it all, when you feel good about yourself, everything you create, say, or do will reflect just that.